nutritionist about cold and flu season and what you can do instead. Becky, I'm a registered dietitian, author, brand and product consultant, and these are all up in my For You page. I've been seeing them everywhere. So let's talk biggest myths and then we'll go through each of them and talk about what to do instead. As a dietitian, this is definitely the one I hear the most and it's the biggest myth of them all, which is this is actually something that's been pretty debunked in research is that eating dairy can make respiratory illness worse not true in fact because it's a source of protein and it's easier to consume in liquid form i would say maybe you want to add dairy relying on the idea that coffee is somehow dehydrating that's just simply false coffee even when it does contain caffeine still counts toward your daily fluid toward your daily hydration goals so keep that coffee it's filled with antioxidants and honestly the more fluids the better listen if you feel like you can't get those solids down then i get it go for the juice but here's the thing juice because it's a naturally occurring but concentrated source of sugar means that if you're if you don't have much of an appetite or if you lose your appetite when you're not feeling well it's gonna increase your blood sugar a little bit and what happens it's gonna crash so this soup which actually have those real heartier veggies in there that helps your digestive tract do a little bit of work to help you absorb and use that energy more efficient things like echinacea oil of oregano uh, elderberry sea berry sea moss gel all of the things exactly not so much the best thing that you can do eat adequate amounts of veggies and fruit and the reason for that is because these are going to be the most biologically available source of antioxidants of vitamins of minerals that keep your body healthy and in your best fighting shape possible also of course prebiotics and probiotics are going to help your body's gut bacteria to to survive and thrive right we want that friendly bacteria in there at all times your gut is a bodyguard for for the immune system so make sure that you're getting food sources of pre and probiotics prebiotics all the veggies all the 100 whole grains legumes and nuts and probiotics are going to be the live and active cultures that you find in greek yogurt look for ones that have at least five strains of live and active cultures in there Taking a multivitamin can stop you from getting sick? I don't think so, honey. I'm, so, I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. Okay, 15 milligrams of zinc per day, however, that can actually reduce the intensity and the duration of your cold. So zinc, 100%, multivitamin, not so much. Take a mega dose of vitamin C? No, don't do that. Because actually your body will just excrete what you're not using. You're just gonna pee it out. So uh, honestly, it's just kind of a waste of time and money. What fever specifically? Protein and fluids. Okay, so just make sure that you're drinking unsweetened beverages and add an extra source of protein to the meals and snacks that you're having throughout the day.